Hi, my name is Kate Savelberg. I'm a nuclear medicine technologist and also a full-time faculty member here at the Michener Institute. And I've been in the nuclear medicine field for a little over 10 years now. I'm Adam Zalewski. I'm a nuclear medicine technologist. Uh, and I'm currently an instructor here at the Michener Institute, as well as being the radiation safety officer. And I've been in this field for about 10 years. What drove me to enter into nuclear medicine, it was not a straightforward choice. In undergrad, I knew I was a person that really liked health sciences. I had a family whose background was in health sciences. And I took an undergraduate course which relied a lot on medical imaging using MRI in order to see what was going on with patients. Once I heard that it injected radiopharmaceuticals, it immediately caught my eye. I am passionate about anatomy and physiology, and this was allowed me to kind of bring both of those together in diagnostic imaging. Originally, I was a high school teacher teaching general science, physics, and math. My favorite parts about that were in the labs, uh, using my hands and doing things that were interesting. So I found that with nuclear medicine, once I heard about the program, uh, it included all of that. In one branch of nuclear medicine, you get to use antimatter in PET scans, which I still find really amazing. Uh, we get to use syringes, we get to use ECGs, uh, and we get to interact a lot with people. And I really like that social aspect as well. So it's a great combination. And that initially attracted me to the field. So the difference between a nuclear medicine technologist and an x-ray technologist would be nuclear medicine involves the administration of some form of radioactivity. Usually that's done by an injection, just through a vein in your arm. And our cameras, which you can see behind me here, they're going to detect that tracer and how it localizes in a patient. X-ray is really kind of the other way around. The cameras themselves give off the radiation. It passes through the patient to generate a very high resolution image. So as a technologist, you're using a lot of positioning skills that are very crucial when it comes to radiological technology. And in nuclear medicine, you're really focusing on physiology. So our pictures might not look as clear, but we're looking at each patient and what's unique about their physiology to get the best or most accurate images. As far as different career paths in nuclear medicine go, in my time here as an educator, I've seen a whole variety of students go in different directions. So for myself, I've worked clinically both in hospitals or private clinics, as well as in research. Education obviously is a direction you could go. Um, going into sales, so sales could involve sales of medical equipment, it could be into radiopharmaceutical sales, or it could even be into uh, processing, so the actual computer software that we use in order to generate data from our patients' images, that's a career that often they're looking for people who are experts in nuclear medicine in order to develop that software, as well as then teach it to other nuclear medicine technologists. Outside of that, I'd probably also say there's radio pharmacy is a big part of what we do. So if you're someone who enjoys working in a lab setting, it's an area where you can be generating radio pharmaceuticals, which then gets shipped out broader across the province. Other jobs people don't think about is perhaps one of the jobs that I have right now, which is the radiation safety officer. Anytime you're using radiation, not just in the hospital, uh, you need somebody to oversee that. So people have gone on to just be an RSO, and also, because we handle radiation, uh, many people have gone on to work with uh, governmental entities, such as the CNSC, which is the Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission. And they oversee all the regulatory uh, rules that we have to follow. So people have become nuclear safety inspectors, for example, uh, and they appreciate nuclear medicine techs because we handle a lot of different types of radioactivity. My favorite thing about the career was probably what excited me about it in the first place, and that was the idea that we were injecting a radio pharmaceutical. Now, for most patients, that's probably not what they want to hear, but I liked it because it meant we could image at this cellular level, which is something that other modalities just are not able to do. And we continue to evolve as a discipline because of this advancements in science and technology. It means now we're imaging cancer cells at a molecular level. And now we're treating cancer cells at this highly specific level. So it was this ability to image physiology and now treat physiology that excited me about nuclear medicine and still continues to do so today. The thing I love about nuclear medicine is the variety. And so one day, 
uh, one week you'll be working in a shift in cardiac for example you'll be placing ECGs you'll be labeling red blood cells you'll be making them radioactive we might also be making aerosol that's radioactive too and checking if there's a blood clot in your lungs we're also here in the lab where I am right now and we're actually preparing the radiopharmaceuticals too so there's a lot of variety in what we're doing uh, and it's it's never boring areas of nuclear medicine I see expanding or developing in the future are definitely in the realm of pet imaging across Canada as well as therapies one of the most promising therapies that we see is for prostate cancer called PMSA and so many many of these are already being done and we only can expect it to expand in its use with these modalities too we aren't working in isolation so we find ourselves working more with other professions the radiologists uh, and other x-ray techs and working more as an interprofessional team and the bonus with this program is that even if you find yourself and you say you know at the end of the day I want to pursue something more this is a great program that will allow you to open up the doors to other degrees in the future too so you're not limiting yourself to say I have to stay in this field the opportunities will continue to grow outside of this job and it's also very rewarding so you work with patients, you give them the best scan you can, and there's a lot of patient care involved. Sometimes we're with our patients for a few hours. So if you do like working with people, you do like working with science and technology, this is a job for you.